Hello, hello my good students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as Imperial Japanese Navy. Uh, previously in this series we have been chasing backwards and forwards um, a couple aircraft carriers. We have sunk another Bogue a couple episodes ago which is absolutely a brilliant gain. Uh, we didn't quite manage to sink a battleship in that uh, episode but we should have sent it very thoroughly to the dry dock there. It should not be out for quite some time. Very, very close to sinking. And in the previous episode, we did finally hit that wasp. So that's what we're going to be dealing with today. We're going to be dealing with the fallout from that. Because very close to this particular task force here is uh, the remainder of the wasp's escort. And the worrying thing about that is, if you remember, it was carrying two um, South Dakota battleships with it. And that is not particularly healthy for our group here. Should we go over what we have here? We have the Issei, the Taiyo. Uh, we have a Miyoko, a Furutaka, and an assortment of destroyers, um, I believe, which is brilliant. Uh, we also have the Maya here, which is a Takao. Um, so we should certainly be able to deal with um, that task force, although I do want to get rid of one battleship at least uh, before we do a surface engagement for that, um, I feel. We will either um, attack it with the aircraft um, off of the Taiyo here, it's got limited um, assortment of Kates there, or we can go for another torpedo attack, and of course I think the torpedo attack with our submarine um, is uh, more viable to begin with actually. We can save the Taiyo's aircraft to help in a surface engagement perhaps, but we'll see how it goes, maybe the enemy will retreat um, away from us. Um, we haven't discerned any particular course for them yet. So uh, let's see how that unfolds. Let's go to the strategic map and see what we can do. Alrighty, so um, of course the uh, task force was spotted here. We did attack it with the I-17. Oh, we do only have two torpedoes left. Ooh, that's interesting there. Um, you know what, we're going to go straight into tactical. And what we're going to do is see if they're about. They're certainly not about because um, our submarine is uh, on the surface. And that is a good indicator that uh, you're nowhere near anything uh, to hit. So what we're going to do is actually, we can see uh, we're planning to move down this way. Um, but we are going to move away and uh, rearm this particular submarine. Um, that does, of course, mean we can't use a submarine attack. Goes without saying there. So we are going to scout around with the Taiyo's groups. We do have 12 capes available. That is certainly capable of destroying a battleship, but um, it's a question of how many torpedoes once again um, get in to actually strike the uh, battleship. And of course, how many survive the, uh, total, or the attack in total. Um, so we are going to scout that out. Do have some extra scouts available I believe in that. Yeah, we have a peat available with the Issei. We have a couple available actually. So we're going to send one out to begin with this particular pattern. No need to yeah, go too far out. But we are going to use this in close proximity there. And we are going to send the second piece out. Was it only a peat we have there? Yeah, it is only the peats we have there. I might want to send something out with a little more range. Um, we can, of course, send out some um, zeros very, very soon. But I think, you know what, peats are all we have. That's what we can send out. So let's just go for that once again. Uh, let's send that out. doesn't have the biggest range there, then. I was of the opinion I was sending out a Jake. I do apologise. So that's as far as we can go, really. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to get the whole course off there. That's a mistake on my part. What have we spotted? Glenn, uh, let's go to... That's uh, just uh, the remainder of a carrier there. Just going to uh, begin that and come out uh, like so. And that's not a problem. We can see a submarine over here. We are going to send, in that case, our ASW force to uh, intercept that. So we'll just patrol around and see if we can catch it. Uh, we don't want that in the middle of the ocean there when we're thinking about uh, using this space um, uh, in the near future. Um, so, let's just see how this goes, I think. See if we can spot that again. Yep, there it is. Let's ignore that with that Glen then. And go straight over there with our Kate. Um, and see how that's going to move, actually. Do still have some remaining... Um, 
Wildcats actually from the Wasp, which is rather interesting. Um, we're just going to go in once again and we're going to leave like that. Um, hmm. With those Wildcats about, I'm a little uh, skeptical about sending in the Kates, but I'm sure. We're going to take the risk while we know uh, where the enemy is. We're going to send the Pete in over here to have a quick look at that. We're going to send this Pete over as well. Uh, see about that, uh, see if we can scout something. Um, in that case, we are going to launch, uh, oh, we need to wait just uh, 0.1 hours. Can we get there? There we go. We are going to launch some zeros. Going to launch as many as we can um, because we don't actually know exactly how many wildcats there are. I didn't stick around long enough to actually count them. I do want to keep that uh, Glen about, actually. And you know what? It's got more fuel at the moment than the Pete. We should absolutely use that um, to scout the battleship group. Alrighty, so we have come into contact with that uh, battleship group finally with our planes. And we are actually going to go for the lead ship. You can see this one here. Um, is actually already damaged. I forgot that we did actually hit that quite hard. That would be why our torpedoes are extremely low on our uh, submarine, I'm sure. Um, but that is certainly going to the dockyard, and that will mean this is out of action for quite a while. Um, even just getting to the dockyard, as well as, of course, spending the time in there. That's going to be two battleships then um, sent to the dockyard, which means um, we don't have to worry about that so much, actually. Um, they're so far away from our carrier group that I don't think we're going to be able to get a surface engagement with um, that group. Uh, we could send our larger cruiser group from Grottle Canal to try and intercept this um, and scout out for anything else. I think that would be a decent idea because we're not getting a lot of use out of that. Um, so we are going to go for this particular ship which is undamaged and we're going to go in from one particular angle. going to go in over here, over its uh, starboard side I believe and go straight down and attack that with our Kates. I'm expecting to lose quite a few Kates here, unfortunately. Um, that's just going to be how it is. There's so much AA going to come off of uh, these battleships, which it's just not going to be possible to avoid all of this, unfortunately. Um, so let's go. Where do we tell the other? Yeah, pretty much in line. That's brilliant. Pretty much in line there. Let's remember to get these down to an attacking altitude and a faster speed so that we can catch up and get into position fairly easily there. And this group going to do exactly the same. And yeah, I would love to go for a hammer anvil, but with the position we've come out at um, in this uh, tactical view, probably not going to happen. It's going to take far too much time. And we're going to send in the zeros to uh, follow the Kates, I think, just in case there are wild cats about. Going to keep some zeros at the standard altitude and we can get some diving down. What have we seen there? It's a scout, not a problem. Our zeros can go in for that. And we're going to speed up. Just going to speed up very quickly while they get into range with our zeros here. And that should be an easy kill. <laughs> it should be an easy kill. There we go. One pass there. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so our Kates are looking like they're coming into contact here, getting into a decent range, but I do want to make sure they get a little more lead on the battleship there. I don't want them all to come in from the rear. So I'm just going to send a couple of them a little further out and a few to go in from, uh, I'll say midship, sort of rearish. Going to watch their speeds, of course once they start getting closer. We should be okay there. As we come closer to the front of their formation, of course, the uh, AA should get a little bit uh, less, a little uh, more reduced AA, simply because of the placements of uh, their AA on their rear ships in the formation there, but it's not gonna save us completely. And I think that's a pretty decent lead now, so we are going to just go straight in there and uh, see if we can attack, actually. Uh, which Kates are these? Yep, yeah, they're going straight in. These are going straight in as well. So we once again need to just make sure we're watching everyone's speeds once we go in and give the attack order. 
doesn't like they're turning in these ships actually so I'm just gonna give them a slightly different command there and move in like so could be a fairly difficult drop actually uh, this group is actually okay as it is I think just give it a slightly different command there and that should be okay yeah let's make sure they're actually slowing down now because it can take some time to slow down yeah we're gonna get these uh, to move around now actually go straight for the attack and there we go tell these to attack tell these to go in not got a target which is interesting so let's tell them that's because we lost the lead cape there interesting it's going like that these capes need to slow down and they can attack from here these capes same just going to take the time to pause and slow slow them down and tell them to attack from here as well so it's not looking so bad just yet this one's still attacking after losing planes but not too sure about that lead there AI will know better than me but we are getting some drops off now we're losing a lot of cakes though and as I said there's just so much AA coming in so so much AA coming in I think we're going to send the Taiyo back after this just to reinforce its planes that's one though I thought I heard a dud, but apparently not, which is very, very good. Very, very happy with that. And that is a lot of hits. A lot of hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant. Eight hits. <laughs> we did lose again so many planes there. Let's take a report to add that up for me. We lost 10 Kates so far, but it is on critical and critical worst statuses there. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Certainly going to keep an eye on that. And that's two battleships in this uh, group. If they don't sink, they will at least uh, go to the dockyard. And they'll be out of action for quite some time. And there we have it. A hefty losses battle once again, uh, planes-wise. But you know what? It's a decent payoff. Um, we can send the Tayo back no problem to uh, resupply its air groups and that is absolutely fine. We can live with that. That does mean that that surface force is actually retreating fully. So it does have quite a way to get to um, uh, the New Hebrides there. Wondering how long it will take even to get there. It's going to take 10 hours just to get over. Um, but we're not using this group for much else, so we might as well have a look to try and intercept them. And we can use them to actually just scout around anyway, cover our rear. Where is Yamato Task? Well, it is over here, so they can come around and protect Guadalcanal themselves. That's not a problem. Can see that uh, submarine once again. Looks like he's going for our supply ship, so that might be something we have to contend with. Uh, certainly going to send these uh, um, destroyers up to have a look at that. So I shall see you in the future when we have a good report for you. Well, um, we've just been alerted to this, say, Jake over here has spotted what looked like a convoy, but it is only the one ship over here. So uh, we can actually try and send, should we get some Emilys out to deal with that? Uh, it is just one, I think it was a C2, um, completely by itself. So we are going to send, you know what? Let's send uh, eight 250 kilogram uh, HE bombs over to it, shall we? I've never used Emily's myself before, just never had the opportunity. So this could be quite fun for me, and I hope it's fun for you as well. But we have also sighted something over here uh, with our peat. So we're certainly going to go in closer to that and scout out exactly what that would be. It is moving away. Let's go to, that is that again, not a problem. We're going to ignore that. The Jake can keep that spotted for our um, Emily's there. It's strange that we didn't get a notification about this, so we are going to go into tactical and see what that is. Where are they? There we go. So this is a minor patrol. It is a Perth and a couple destroyers. Um, that would be brilliant to attack with some uh, torpedo bombers, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, we could certainly try for a surface engagement here, but I get the feeling they're going to run away as soon as they get into a surface engagement with us. 
that's just something for us to do. Certainly something for us to do. Um, having said that then, going to break off the Taiyo with, um, I think, an Ikazuchi here. They're going to split and that's going to escort the Taiyo over back to Rebul there. Excellent stuff. So that means we can use uh, the remaining group over here uh, to have a look at Light Patrol and then maybe go up to uh, uh, Milne Bay to make sure that we do get this, just in case. So I think this is the first order of business, is uh, sinking this, so we'll uh, see you then. Alrighty, um, exactly where is Light Ship? We can just about see it on my cursor there. Uh, it will be very difficult, so... Um, I'm going to try and identify that and see if it does have any AA. Um, so we can go in perhaps for a low altitude attack here. Of course the bombs do have to hit with our Emilys here. We don't have the capability to strafe them. Uh, let's see, C2 is that? Mm, could be, could be. It does have a little bit of AA if that's the case. You know what, I think that is a C2. Um, we're going to go in for a low altitude attack anyway, because why not? Uh, would make things a little easier. We're not going to make it too low, not skip bomb worthy. But we are going to make sure we go around. going to um, slow down our speed and actually turn into that. If we can go like that and speed up just a tad, there's no need to go at normal speed when you're just watching your planes turn around like that. And there we go. Okay, we're going to manually control these now. See if we can get that on target. And I am going to stay at the uh, wider formation here, like so, and tell them to attack right now, actually. Excellent stuff. Just going to tell them to slow down once again. I think we've got the armor to uh, fend off a small amount of flak there. Not looking too good that line though, is it? Might actually fluff this. Might have fluffed this, but it's too late to go back now. It's a good good sign though, is it? A good sound rather, uh, hearing those bombs go. <laughs> and that's uh, two bombs and one dud. <laughs> Pathetic, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> this is heavy damage and moderate flooding, so we could hang about. So that's going to hang about. Yeah, can't attack with our Emily. It's got no uh, uh, armaments capable of sinking that now. Which is a shame. Would have preferred just a few more hits on that. I don't think that's going down. I really don't think that's going down. So we'll come back. We'll come back. We can, uh, you know what? We'll go return to base and we'll send in, running out of time here, uh, of the day. And we're going to send in some Torios with some... Uh, HE bombs as well and then if they miss they can actually strafe that target which is brilliant stuff so I'll see you in a second Deary, deary, dear. So on the next day, we have been intercepted by something um, with our Task Force 37, our cruiser group, um, hunting the um, retreating South Dakotas there. And as we can see, we have already spotted a submarine. You can see it through the water there. Very, very close. What is it? It's either a gator or a narwhal. Um, so we're going to send, I think, the Hitsutsuki straight on over to it, and that can go, oh, no, it needs to break first, not quite full speed, so we get a decent turn off over there, and turn straight into that, um, Onami can come up on the rear there, so we get a decent contact with it, um, hmm, Gonna tell that to come outwards though. Nizuki can break as well. 
and actually do roughly the same. That can go a little quicker though. Um, so we need to get our ratio straight over to it as well. That can go just over like that. We'll just give a waypoint in that general direction. Uh, we can just we can go slowly with the Asashio in a straight line there. We do, of course, need to get Takao and Mogami and Tone out of there as quickly as possible. So we are going to turn out like this. We're going to bring the Sendai around as well so that we don't get any clashes. Excellent stuff. There we go. Been very lucky with a good setup, a decent sea state, and the fact that the um, submarine is so close to us that we can spot this as soon as we come in. However, if it decides to launch torpedoes, which it has done, Need to see where they go. Guessing they're feeling they get a t yeah, curving off around here. So that's going to go for Takao and such. We might have just sent that to its death, um, turning like so. We shall see. Going to stop turning so much with uh, Hatsutsuki here and actually slow it down a tad. Does look like the torpedoes are going to try and go in this sort of direction here, where the. Uh, cruisers originally were. We're going to slow down a tad with uh, Arashio here. And I think we'll be okay so far over there. So let's go to the submerged view here. And yeah, we have overturned a tad. That's okay. What we're going to do then is get the Onami to try and intercept that. Oh, we can't quite send a uh, proper uh, nav point there. But that's okay. In that case, we are just going to launch one or two uh, depth charges off the back of uh, Hatsutsuki here, like so. They can drop already, actually. Try and get it as it passes beneath us. See how that goes. Could get hit by a couple there. I'm starting to wish uh, we launched a few more now. That would have been some nice hits. That's okay. Got some very, very close proximity hits there. Very, very nice indeed. The torpedoes, I think they're looking okay. I think they're looking okay. And that's not bad. I'm actually going to stop the Hetsitsuki now. Um, I'm actually not going to stop it, but we are going to tail that uh, uh, submarine. We are going to stop with Arashio here. Going to take a report. It is on moderate damage and moderate flooding. That's okay. We are firing, um, just so you are aware, at a uh, scout here. It's a kingfisher. And I'm just going to tell Tone to actually turn up. Oh, I'll just keep going straight over here a tad and make sure it is going full speed. And the Sendai can move out the way of these torpedoes completely. Make sure we don't turn into them. That would be a big mistake. Big, big mistake. And we're going to take the Onami full speed, try and get hold of the submarine there. That's right, we're going full uh, five times speed here, despite there being torpedoes in the water. And we are, I think we're going to slow down with this. Don't need to turn so much, right? I need to turn into the submarine here, of course. Perhaps it's going to speed up just a tad there and actually stay on a line like that. And we are overshooting the submarine, so we are going to slow down a tad now and actually turn our stern over. Torpedoes, looking very nice, excellent stuff. It does appear to only be the one submarine as well, which is brilliant. Can see the sub just behind us there, actually, so we're gonna really stop. Really, really stop now. Gonna get rid of the uh, nav point there, if it will let us. Nope, not going to cancel that, unfortunately. Very strange. Tell it to break. Interesting. Just ignoring our orders there. That's okay. We'll just have to keep manual control over this. I think we fluff this just a tad. Just a tad. And I'll come back uh, when we are straight over it. Okay, so uh, in my stupidity, I didn't actually notice that uh, the Onami was under fire. I was just watching uh, under the uh, submerged view here for the whole time, and it does appear that the submarine has actually um, has actually surfaced. So we're going to shoot the crap out of that. Absolutely going to shoot the crap out of that only with the Onami because it is too close for uh, anyone else to hit that. We're going to stop reversing into it, of course, because that's not going to be very good for our health. Getting a, a lot of damage out of that must have been there for quite some time. Not good at all. Absolutely big mistake there. 
But it is sinking. But it is sinking. And uh, we're going to let... <laughs> gonna let our damage control team sort those fires out, I think. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. That was uh, a big mistake there. That must have been up for so long. Because look at the damage we got on there. Rookie mistake there. Very big rookie mistake. Should have watched out for that. But uh, what can we do, hey? <laughs> I'll just see you in a second. Okay, so with that done, we're just going to do a very brief uh, update for you. It is um, the 26th of October, um, 10.36 uh, in the morning, which is brilliant. We are going to scout around now with this group because uh, we did see some kingfishers coming out uh, this direction that could either of course be launched from the New Hebrides or we are highly more suspective that it is uh, going to be from the um, South Dakotas over here but I don't want to push too far into the New Hebrides I think this is pushing it enough already with the aircraft that they can send off of there to attack us especially now they know that we're here for sure so we're just going to uh, carry on with that we couldn't intercept that uh, minor patrol with our ESA over here so we are just going to go and sit on Milne Bay in case anything happens over there so uh, once again I shall see you in a second once we have uh, scouted something out and see what we can do uh, well, um, a small surprise here. On the strategic map, we did uh, find or did sight what looked like a cargo convoy um, just south of Milne Bay. So we did send in uh, this group, our cruiser group, in, which was rather close to sort us out. Um, we have overshot it by the looks of it. It's actually behind us. Not a big threat, a single Batapsco. So, uh, you know, here's the surface engagement we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Uh, we are going to tell everyone, of course, to fire on that. We are going to identify it as a Patapsco. Should be about the last in the list there. There we go. Uh, tell Arashio to use the group and uh, turn around so we get all our guns on. Everyone can just fire HE narrow like so. Said bloody everyone. Said everyone. Come on, guys. Can go as well. That would mean not everyone is doing so. It's strange you have to go individually, but that's okay. Let's go in like that. Brilliant stuff. Let's fire out and see how that goes. Really, we've got so many ships here. So, so many ships to deal with this. Should not last very long at all. Don't even need to fire with all of our ships, actually. It'd just be a waste of ammo, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely awesome. Decent hit already. Ooh, big old hit already. <laughs> Honestly. This isn't exactly what, uh, Jesus Christ, that's three magazine hits. <laughs> this isn't exactly what I had in mind for this group. But uh, it will do the job. <laughs> It will certainly do the job there. <laughs> oh, that's so unlucky. I'm sure that is some much needed resources they need. The uh, small fuel that you can get on a Patapsco on that particular uh, ship there. And it was over here of all places, very out of position. Doesn't look like it could go anywhere in particular. Um, I'd imagine really it should go for Port Moresby, if anywhere. But um, okay, fair enough. Um, but that is going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that's all we have time for. We've got a, we got had some had some drama in this one, you know. We've got a submarine that took some damage from it as well, not from its torpedoes, which is uh, less than optimal, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is going to be it. So thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure hosting you yet again today. I've been very much enjoying this series, and I hope you have too. Um, I'm the Edified Gamer, and I hope your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.